The spin tool will create circular reliefs. So it's much like the turn tool, but it will work on a different axis. So if I create a rectangle and then try to spin it, it won't actually work. It will actually give me an error message for this one that says that I need to select an open vector. Now there are a few more options in this tool than the turn tool. So if I cancel that, node edit it, and then what I'm going to do is remove this span. So it leaves me with that. So now if I select that and then go to spin this, it will create a rounded relief. Now obviously the relief is too big for my model at the moment. So what I'm going to do is select both of those and I'm going to move them in. Okay, and then you can see that it's created this cylinder that goes up in Z rather than going in X or Y. Now what you can do is exactly the same as the turn tool, you can start editing the, these nodes. So if I were to say move that, like so, you can see that I can change the shape of it. I can smooth that. Okay, everything working in real time. It's a really nice tool to use because you can just see what's happening. Now I can also invert in Z, so it does it sunk into the model. I can also select an N profile and a Z modulation curve. So if I cancel that, and then let's draw a couple of curves, just so you can see what's going on here. Okay, so let's open up that tool again. Select that as my profile, and I'm going to select that as an end profile. So this is the end where it actually sweeps around. So you can have it blending into something else as it sweeps around. So you see how at the end there, it's actually that profile. And I can reverse that so it goes right the way down and then it goes underneath. Okay. So let me cancel that now, go back into it so I can reselect. Okay, and then I'm going to set this as a Z modulation curve. So this is as it goes round, it's going to go up and down like this. So you can create some really, really funky sorts of pieces by using this. Now I've probably gone a bit mad with that. So if I were to select all of these bottom nodes, I can actually do this in real time and I can change how this looks all in real time. So if I bring these down, you can see that you can just change all of these. Okay, and you can get some really, really nice, funky sort of shapes. So that's how the spin tool works.